Boston. Over temperatures. Yeah, all the way up into the 40s tomorrow. That's going to be like a real heat wave after today, where temperatures struggle to reach the freezing mark, and already we're below freezing. The idea, it's going to stay cold for a while. The weekend right now, we might have to bring some precipitation back in the forecast, mostly in the form of rain. Right now, clear skies, 27 here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. Relative humidity, 44%. A falling barometer and west wind at 9 miles per hour. The high today here was 35. The airport with a high at 34. Lows this morning, 15 here on Red Mountain. 16 at the airport, but not a record. The record low, 7 back in 1972. No rain and good air quality. Now, keep in mind, the sun was shining brightly all day today. These were the afternoon highs. Only 30 at Huntsville, 32 at Gadsden. Tuscaloosa with a high this afternoon of 33. Montgomery at 39. You had to go all the way down to Mobile to find 40s. Their high this afternoon was 45 degrees. And now with clear skies and relatively light wind, temperatures are dropping off steadily. We have 27 here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. The coldest locations tonight should be east of Birmingham, especially in the valleys of East Alabama. Some other 10 o'clock observations. Look at Gadsden. Already it's 19. These aren't wind chills. These are actual air temperatures. It's 21 now in Anniston. Uh, Auburn down to 23, 25 in Tuscaloosa, even 29 now at Mobile, so cold statewide. Skies are clear, but that will change tomorrow. Here come the clouds coming out of old Mexico and Texas, and uh, this moisture will roll into Alabama tomorrow, and I think it will pretty much stay in place over the weekend. You combine that with a storm lifting out of old Mexico, and that sets the stage for precipitation on Saturday and maybe even Sunday. Already we're seeing the beginnings of this. Uh, this is the radar coming out of South Texas. All of this is rain from Hondo and San Antonio down to Corpus Christi. This will continue moving northeast. Of course, the question is, will it be cold enough for that rain to change over to snow when it reaches Alabama? The answer, probably not at this point. We've looked at a lot of data here in the last hour just coming in. Now, this is a reinforcing surge of cold air that will try and move in tomorrow. This air is not as cold as the air we had to deal with last night. As a storm rides up this front over the weekend, it's beginning to look like mostly light rain. But there's a chance it might be cold enough for the rain to be mixed with a little sleet or a little snow as far uh, to the south is Birmingham, but right now we don't see a major reason to be concerned about this, but we'll watch it carefully. But the bottom line for the weekend, cloudy, rather damp, and certainly very chilly. Cast a few changes. We've added the possibility of mostly light rain over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. There could be a little bit of snow or sleet mixed in. High temperatures over the weekend around 40. Lows 32 Saturday morning, 27 on Sunday morning. Temperatures will stay below normal through the first part of next week. We'll watch of getting children all uh, happy and excited out there. Dan is still saying that there may be some snow in the uh, forecast. I'm predicting no school on Monday right now. Of course, okay. there's no school on Monday <laughs> anyhow. It's a holiday. Let's That's quickly right. say that. Well, I, you know, I said this morning we might have to change the forecast, and now I'm going to. I'm going to say there is the chance of an accumulation, especially north of town, up to the north of Gadsden on Sand Mountain in the Tennessee Valley, and we might have some accumulation on the grass here in Birmingham. And I'm also going to say to stay tuned tonight for James, because he's going to have some new information. We're going to watch this very closely. It's very, very difficult to forecast snow. That's the hardest thing to predict. So you're, you're going to have to put a knife in my back to get me to say an inch amount. Yeah, but okay. let's talk about it. Right now, at noontime, we have cloudy skies outside, and that's kind of keeping us from heating up very much. We still have a modifying air mass in place, a modifying polar air mass storm system are spreading across the state. And that is keeping the temperatures down. Mobile, the warm spot at 49, and Huntsville still holding on to 36. Now, I'm going to run this by four times for you. This is a Luca satellite pictures from 16 hours. Here's the moisture coming in from the southwest to developing low in the Gulf. A lot of this is Pacific moisture, but it's going to start to entrain some Gulf moisture. Along with this is a frontal system coming in from the north, another reinforcing surge of Arctic air that's going to come by late tonight, probably around midnight. And as this moisture comes in from the southwest, the cold air may change the northern fringe into a band of light snow. And we're now beginning to think there may be enough moisture and enough cold air for some accumulation. Probably no problems on the streets here in Birmingham at all, but there may be a problem up towards Sand Mountain to the north of Gadsden and up in the Tennessee Valley as well. This is pretty cold air mass, zero in Williston. International Falls right now is 12 degrees below zero. Wichita at 29, just behind the front, and you cross over the front. It's now raining across a good chunk of Texas. Rain also spreading into New Orleans, Gulfport, Mississippi, almost up to Mobile now. Most of this is light snow from a storm system moving off the east coast and bringing in some cold air over the Great Lakes. Look at that. That is radar. This is the noon radar, by the way. I got this in just moments ago. You can see that rain already developing. That's a sign that 
the computer models may have underestimated this storm system just a bit. So here's the deal. Here's the map right now, the storm system developing down here. Here comes the Arctic air, which by tonight will be pushing into Alabama. Rain spreading up with a little snow starting to develop on the northern fringe. And then by tomorrow night, I think from Birmingham to the north, maybe even Montgomery to the north, the cold air will change the rain mixed with snow to all snow in the northern half of the state spreading into the Georgia mountains, windy and cold in the north and east, and that Arctic air mass settling down into the northern plains. From Montgomery down to the south, I think for the most part, it'll be rain. And keep in mind, even if it snows, the temperatures will probably be warm enough where we're not going to have much of a problem. Now, there is a little bit of good news here. Here's the air mass, uh, the jet stream today. The Arctic air mass coming down will come over us, but by Monday and Tuesday, it should all start to slide to the east. Changes in the jet stream pattern should start to push this Arctic air back off to the east, and a warming trend starts next week. Our forecast today, then, looks like this. And we revised this. High 40 will uh, begin in the area, low near 35. Then during the day tomorrow, that should change to snow. There will be some accumulation in Birmingham, probably just on the grassy areas. High snow in there for Saturday, ending Sunday morning, clearing up on Monday, and then the warming trend starts on Tuesday. It's been going on, actually, our whole weather uh, staff has on, on been working today, but it's becoming even more important as the evening you know, wears Quite on. frankly, Terry, today was fun. We all enjoyed playing in the snow and, and enjoying it, but now as temperatures are below freezing over much of the area, the, the road travel is becoming very difficult. A number of municipalities have closed roads. Uh, a lot of accidents. Right, and the, the calls keep coming in. So uh, it's a great night to stay home by a warm fire because the snow isn't over yet. It's snowing heavily over much of our viewing area. And even if you have not seen snow today, you might see a bit before it all ends after midnight tonight. Take a look at our current numbers. These are uh, current observations here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. It is snowing. 29 degrees now. We're well below freezing. Now, that's here on top of Red Mountain at the Birmingham Airport. They've dropped down to the freezing mark now. The wind chill index, 15. The humidity, 83 percent. The barometer rising and north wind at 9 miles per hour. The high today was 37. The low since midnight last night. The current temperature of 29. The rainfall total, don't, uh, don't trust that a lot because we checked the rain gauge and it's frozen here. We had two hundredths of an inch but we'll have to wait until tomorrow, until it uh, uh, begins to thaw out and all of the rain runs through. And, of course, no air quality report today being the weekend. Okay, a lot to show you. First off, let's take a look at the live Doppler 6 radar display. Again, from Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and Anniston South, the blue and the yellow colors, that's where the snow and rain is really coming down. So most of the heavier snow will be south of Interstate 20 tonight. There will be snow north of Interstate 20, but mostly of a light nature. Now, let's show you what's happened so far. Here's a look at the snowfall totals as of this moment. A strip right across the north-central counties of the state, here in the Birmingham area, one to three inches. The higher elevations with the most snow, right now we have three inches here atop Red Mountain. By the time you wake up in the morning, we project numbers like this. In the Birmingham area, two to five inches, depending on how high you are. The higher terrain could see maybe a bit more than five inches. In the green areas, one to two inches, about an inch for the Tennessee Valley, an inch down to the south between Demopolis and Montgomery. South of that, we're talking all rain. Accordingly, we have a winter storm warning for much of north central Alabama for the rest of tonight. Down in the Montgomery and Auburn areas, a winter weather advisory for lighter snow that will likely fall later tonight. Of course, temperatures are critical. We were lucky during the day today. Most observations stayed in the mid-30s. Roads were wet and slushy, but now temperatures are falling below freezing in many areas. Again, we have 29. That's here atop Red Mountain at Channel 6. We have 32 at Tuscaloosa and Brent. Anniston now with 33 and snow is falling there. Temperatures just below freezing up in the Tennessee Valley with upper 30s down in the Mobile and Dothan areas. Now here's the radar from a composite uh, point of view. You can see this uh, new band of snow developing for the northwestern part of the state. This will be fairly light, but right on the northern fringe of this main area. This has been the, the same configuration basically all day. And, uh, of course, it's rain to the south, snow along the northern fringe here, and that's where the snow has been just uh, really coming down this afternoon. That's where the heaviest snow will continue to be. A big storm continues to roll out of the western Gulf of Mexico. This will move on out of here by tomorrow afternoon. So we're talking clearing skies tomorrow. Back around 40 by tomorrow afternoon. Much of the snow will melt by tomorrow afternoon, and it should be history by Monday as this weather system continues tracking to the east. Here's our forecast now for tonight in Birmingham. The snow will continue until, uh, oh, about midnight. Six more hours of this, then it will be ending. Our overnight low near 29 degrees. Tomorrow, cloudy in the morning, maybe some leftover snow flurries, but clearing in the afternoon. North wind at 10 to 15 with a high tomorrow near 39. Five-day planning forecast. Uh, we're going to be in a lot better shape by the first part of next week. Monday, 54. Uh, Art and Terry with returning sunshine.
soon all be a memory. <laughs> in, in terms of church tomorrow, uh, we're taking a poll. About half the churches seem to have canceled their services. The other half say, we're going to have services, so uh, let your Sunday school teacher call you. They always know. Yeah, yeah, Sounds that's good. Best Thanks, James. Thank Doppler you. 6 radar, this dark blue. We're talking parts of Jefferson, Tuscaloosa, Bibb, Shelby, Talladega, southern St. Clair, over into Clay County. This is where the snow is really tremendous, and in some areas down to the south, the snow is mixed with sleet and rain. And in this area, we're going to see some very impressive snowfall amounts. Again, this is not moving much at all, so I think we'll see about snow for at least the next six hours here in this area. Let's show you our projected storm totals between two and five inches right through uh, the Birmingham area, then down to the south into Shelby County. Some folks could see more than that. And again, we have a winter storm warning for much of north central Alabama through the night. We'll have storm track updates at least every 15 to 30 minutes right on through this big winter storm. At WBRC in Birmingham, I'm James Spann with a quick storm track update. Snow continues to fall heavily. These are current storm totals in this zone right through north central Alabama. Two to five inch totals are common. Here atop Red Mountain, we now have four inches of snow on the ground. Hoover with four inches, parts of Pelham with four inches down in Shelby County. And again, the snow will continue for several more hours. Our current temperature, 29 degrees here at Channel 6. The Birmingham airport now just below freezing. Temperatures will drop very slowly a few more degrees for the rest of tonight. Let me show you the live Doppler 6 radar display. Snow is actually increasing now north of Birmingham. Those of you that have missed the snow today, you're beginning to see it now north of town. Heaviest snow is now falling through parts of Talladega County back into Clay County, not too far, uh, well, actually just south of Mount Cheehaw. Uh, this is not moving very much, and we still project the snow will last until about midnight tonight. Snowfall totals will likely average between three and five inches across the Birmingham area. Some spots could receive more than six inches of snow in what's turning out to be one of our larger snowstorms in quite a while. This is very reminiscent of some of the major snows we had back in the 60s. Many roads are closed throughout the Birmingham area, many interstates, many municipalities have closed the roads in their community. Travel is very treacherous tonight in this particular area, so don't drive unless you absolutely have to. Many uh, churches are closed tomorrow. We'll have more information on that coming up on the night cast at 10 and again throughout prime time tonight storm track updates at least every 15 minutes we'll have several live reports so stay with us here at channel 6 your 24-hour news and weather source as this winter storm of 92 rages on well generally we have some good news first off a look at what's happened so far today some incredible snowfall totals this has been one of those snows that you don't see that often here four to seven inches in this strip right across the north central counties of the state the amounts much lesser to the north and to the south all throughout this area roads will be closing or if they're not closed already now here's the radar we have some good news you can see the snow band continuing to sink to the south the snow has ended over much of northwest Alabama and northeast Mississippi. Drier air at mid-levels of the atmosphere will roll in here after midnight tonight. We still project the snow to end in Birmingham around midnight. And for those of you down to the south and east, the snow will likely end around the time the sun comes up in the morning. Now, on our early newscast, you saw Dan Satterfield with our official uh, Doppler 6 weather center ruler that we use to measure the snow. Here's Dan live with a look at what's happening outside now, Dan. All right, James. And let me tell you, this thing costs big bucks. Uh, I don't think it's going to last much longer, too. It's starting to bend when it gets wet. But we've been measuring the snow out here, and I uh, just punch it down different areas, and uh, mainly in the grassy areas is where it's done, on a flat, grassy surface. I went around the building here about an hour ago, five inches and in some spots a little bit more than that. And just looking at my tracks from an hour ago, they're starting to get covered up again. The snow is still uh, blowing around here, but the flakes are much smaller. But it's still coming down pretty good, probably about the rate of a quarter of an inch an hour. So if it continues for another hour, we may be a little bit more than five inches up here at Top Red Mountain. One other thing here down in the city, I've been looking. I see no traffic moving at all, something I've never seen looking out up here. James, back to you. All right, Dan, very good. So again, we think the snow will be ending between midnight and 6, but to wind down, uh, for Birmingham, we're still thinking the snow should pretty much be over by midnight or shortly thereafter. Right now, though, it is still snowing here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. 28 degrees at her field, who just went out and checked. Air quality, of course, not available being a Saturday. Again, here is a look now at the snow totals across our area. Four to seven inches on the upper end of the scale right through the central counties of the state. Just checked at one location down in Hoover. Six inches, that's a valid report. Six inches of snow down that way. Parts of Pelham and Alabaster with uh, three to five inches now. Upper 20s and lower 30s, making driving conditions absolutely miserable. Now, the radar again shows good news. That is, if you want the snow to end finally, it's ended now in northwest Alabama. Much drier air is moving into the mid-levels of the atmosphere. The storm 
tracks actually down to about Tampa Bay. Most of it tomorrow, rain, snow, and places like Augusta, Georgia, Columbia, South Carolina. Nine. Here's the five-day planning forecast. Look at Monday, a heat wave. We're talking 54 degrees with bright sunshine. Poured at 8 o'clock for the folks that are up and uh, planning on going to church. If you have church, many churches, of course, yeah, don't, don't have services. So check with your teachers, uh, Sunday school teachers and whatnot. But again, 8 o'clock in the morning with storm track updates all night long. Great, thanks. Got out on the road as the snow and ice began melting today, but drivers are still being warned about some icy conditions, especially as temperatures drop once again. Good evening, I'm Art Franklin. And I'm Terry Denard. Thanks for joining us as we begin our continuing 24-hour news coverage of this year's first winter storm. Today we have seen many roads open in our area, but that could change as temperatures are falling again and the slush is freezing. The majority of interstates and highways across the state are open right now, but icy patch patches do remain. Now, police continue to warn caution if you drive on these roadways. And here are some of the roadways still closed. The Highway 25 leads to Vincent Close. From this weekend, at least by a couple of inches. <laughs> They've been digging out today, and Sarah Verser was there. And Sarah joins us now live on Highway 280. Sarah, how's the work progressing there? Well, Art, take a look for yourself. You can see traffic is moving along pretty well. I'm happy to report Shelby County Sheriff's deputies tell me all their major roads are open at this time. What a difference a day makes, coupled with a lot of sunshine and hard work. This is not how Shelby County's Highway 280 looked last night. In fact, many areas was, were impassable. The road forecast looks very good in Pelham as well. That's because crews have been working long hours sanding down the roads and bridges. Now that the uh, snow is cleared, there are other concerns. Taken off the bridges. And that's to give us something to put the sand down so we can get some adhesion. And tonight, if the temperature goes down like they say it is to about 19 degrees, all this moisture and liquid you see running now will probably refreeze. And it will probably be worse than it was last night. That could be a big problem out here as folks prepare for the work day tomorrow. Terry and Art? And Sarah, what about strategy for tomorrow? We're already hearing uh, an increase in accidents out there, it sounds like. Well, anticipating that many of the crews have gone home for a good night's sleep, they're on the call so that if the roads start freezing up, they'll be ready for another round tomorrow. Start off by saying tomorrow is definitely not going to be a joyride to work, but I don't think it will be nearly as bad as it was this morning. A lot of those streets that just have water on them, that will evaporate, but the areas where there's snow, that will continue to slowly melt and then eventually freeze, so there's going to be some real slick spots in the morning. Temperatures now approaching freezing. This is uh, at 5 o'clock, 34. We just dropped to 33, so we'll be at freezing before long. Here's a visible satellite photograph taken at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Wanted to show you the snow on the ground through Texas, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Alabama, parts of Georgia, even around Columbia, South Carolina, on the beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They had an inch of snow out of this storm, clearing skies and a rather dry air mass. That's good news in one respect. That dry air will help to evaporate some of this moisture. However, it also means the temperatures are going to plunge with this snow cover. Later on in the week, though, changes. Jet stream today, still two jets, Canadian air to the north. Later on in the week, another storm comes in from the west. This one, though, will be much milder. It will all be rain, nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and show you our forecast. Then for tonight, it is going to be a cold one, a hard freeze. Tonight's low, get this, 18 degrees. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny and milder. The big melt begins, the high temperature near 50. And your five-day planning forecast will take you right on through the rest of the week and a chance of rain on Wednesday and Thursday. All right, thanks, Dan. There are some school closings very quickly to tell you about as you plan for the morning. Down, the temperature started to drop very, very rapidly. It's going to be a very cold night because it's clear, a lot of radiational cooling, and also the snow cover. That's going to make it a few degrees colder as well. Let's go a little bit into the future here and see this, what the 7 a.m. temperatures are going to look like. Frozen bridges, take those one at a time. The icy spots, anywhere where there was slush on the road. Quite mm. as severe. No, it wasn't. Well, our 24-hour news team coverage continues now with Rick Earl from our Aniston Gadsden newsroom. Rick, how about the conditions in your area today? Tonight. Well, Terry, we don't seem to have near half the problem that you have there with the road conditions in Birmingham. During the runways, and then this morning, they were busy removing ice and snow from the airplanes. One family traveling from Pensacola to Illinois stopped here and caught a plane ride home instead of risking the drive. And it took the Birmingham Ski Club more than 20 hours to get here, but they finally made it from Dallas this morning after the pilot turned around just 10 minutes out of town last night. You kind of expect seeing the snow coming into Denver or Steamboat at Hayden Airport where we landed, but coming back, in, back into Birmingham was definitely an odd sight.
You didn't have to leave here to go skiing. <laughs> well, we got our skis with us, so we all else fails, we can ski home. Well, hopefully it didn't come to that for this woman, who no doubt had an uncomfortable trip home. Two people broke their legs, not on the Birmingham Club trip, but on a separate trip to Park City, Utah. Oh, that had well, to be rough. Yeah, I guess it could have been a lot worse, though. Well, you can get a chance. continue on an almost steady basis all the way through the late night hours tonight. This is nothing compared to the rush that we saw earlier this morning. Road and you start to skid. What you want to do is drive in the direction of the skid. You want the team you can count on 24 hours a day. The Doppler 6 weather team only on Channel 6, your 24-hour news source. You're watching Channel 6. To warm up after the snowy weekend, but area drivers are still a little unsteady out on the icy roads. Good afternoon, I'm Bill Bolin. Thanks for joining us on the news at noon. Folks headed back to work this morning after one of the harshest weather weekends in recent memory. But it still is not easy on the road for drivers, many of whom didn't move their cars for the past couple of days. City workers are out sanding the streets as plenty of evidence from the winter weekend remains on the ground. A little later, we'll have the latest update on roads that still remain closed in the Birmingham area. Now for a check on the latest weather conditions out there, let's go to meteorologist Dan Satterfield. Bill, right now the temperature up to 41 here at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. That snow's melting fast. If you want to make a snowman, you've only got a few more hours. There'll be some left in the shady spots tonight, but by tomorrow afternoon, hardly any will be left. We're watching a new system head our way from the southwest. That's going to bring some rain in here on Wednesday. Our affairs are open at this hour. The real problems seem to be on the secondary roads. As Rick Earl reports, some folks are venturing out while others aren't taking any chances. In Hoover, folks wiped snow from their cars and prepared to go to work, or at least try. Yeah, I should have been gone an hour ago, but I'm a little leery about leaving. Uh, I own a service station in Roebuck, so i got to get over there. If it's too bad down this street right here, I'll come back. Many folks found the going rough, especially in this hilly area where the ice has yet to melt on most roads. This van slid down a sheet of ice, and a car followed sideways. Both eventually got back on track. Still, this didn't keep other people from venturing out. Once folks here get out of their driveways, this is what they have to contend with. Snow and ice packed at least an inch thick. Maneuvering up and down a hill like this can be extremely difficult. So difficult, in fact, some folks called it quits after only one try. Uh, well, it just started slipping and sliding, and uh, I said, the heck with that, and turned around and came back in the driveway. I don't think you need to be out there you know, taking a chance or uh, you know, somebody might get hurt. But some people did. Once off these treacherous back roads, the asphalt is a welcome sight. Still, some folks didn't even bother trying to get out. In Hoover, Rick Earl, Channel 6, the news at noon. Here's a complete list of the roads that are still officially closed. Alabama 25 from Leeds to Vinson. I-459 from U.S. 31 to U.S. 280. Alabama 150 from U.S. 31 in Hoover to County Road 52 in Bessemer. Alabama 216 between Tuscaloosa and Brookwood. And Alabama 69 north by the Walker County line. Now, you can still drive on those roads, but insurance companies are not responsible if you have an accident while driving on a closed road. Birmingham City workers have been out in force this morning, sanding icy roads that still remain from the weekend winter storm. Brian Pia joins us live at the Birmingham Street and Sanitation Department with a story. Brian? Well, Bill, some of the sand you see behind me will wind up on uh, city streets today. It, of course, will be used to make driving easier on the icy roads that still remain. As you can imagine, it's been quite a busy weekend for the Birmingham Street and Sanitation Department. Believe it or not, the city dumped about 100,000 tons of sand on city streets this weekend. Uh, here you see pictures of a sand truck being loaded up. The <laughs> problem is we uh, use up sand as fast as we get it, and we have to pick it up and bring it here and dump it. And by the time we get, Birmingham work crews are spreading sand on primary roads and on roads leading up to hospitals, police departments, and fire stations, so that emergency traffic can get through. Bill, Brian, how long will the city workers be at it today? 
Uh, they'll be at it until the snow melts. Uh, they're saying probably about 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon, they hope. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Brian.